Okay, see my journey. Here I am again. Oh, taking a walk. There it is. Get my early morning sun. Some vitamin D. A little fresh air. Get these joints going. They hurt, but just got to keep pushing through so my goal is to walk as much as I can before my chest feels like it's gonna explode so I've been battling with this cough for a while now and <coughs> whenever I try to walk or exercise it feels like I have an elephant on my chest because apparently I have asthma with airflow obstruction and environmental irritants, whatever that means. So <clears throat> basically I am being stuffed with steroids, prednisone, Simbacort, albuterol to try and counteract and keep okay. I'm not even walking that fast and my chest feels tight already. But I can't let that stop me because prednisone will make you gain weight like crazy. Steroids in general will make you gain weight like crazy. And nine months of steroids will do that to you. So, I'm trying to counteract all the weight that I gain by trying to take my time and walk. This is not my normal pace, but every little bit counts. And that's what I'm counting on. So, all of that coupled with, well, that was gross, people and their dogs and their dog excrements. Ugh. All of that coupled with <clears throat> the cough, the anxiety, and depression. You know, sometimes you just have to find your way out of the hole by yourself. You know, little by little. You know what you want. You know what your heart's desire is. You know what you want for yourself. You know what you want for your family. And sometimes you can't even do it for yourself. But... When you have kids that are depending on your every move, you have to find something inside of you. That last little bit of energy, that last little bit of drive, that last little bit of determination. You have to dig deep down and pull it out because you have little eyes looking at you, little eyes watching your every move, little eyes imitating you, and you don't know what they're seeing, what they're interpreting, and what you know what they're gonna take away from how hard you fight, or what you did. Something that they can pull from when they get older, or pull from when they feel like they've been in a situation, they can look at you and said, Mommy never quit daddy never quit so you find that last bit of energy or drive it's good to have a buddy one person somebody to find that somebody my somebody's God that's my buddy my, my daddy my mommy my best friend that's who I talk to most. Sometimes you see me talking and talking to myself, but I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to my father, my heavenly father. You know, but find that person that you can talk to. Hopefully can pull you out of those dark holes sometimes and lean on them. Because even though we were born alone and we'll die alone, we're not meant to be in this world alone. No man is an island and you 
cannot stand alone. No matter how hard you try, you always need someone. You need a hand or something, a shoulder. And even if you're the one that's always given the hand or the shoulder, trust me, sometimes you need it for yourself. And those are the hardest ones. It's when you need it for yourself that you find a way. Find a way. Stay positive. Stay alive. Stay well. Enjoying this beautiful day. Look at that. Oh, look at that. All the geese are out. There's two swans in the pond. That come oh, way over, way over there. Can't really see them. But just enjoy a day.